love builds up the broken wall and straightens the crooked path. Love keeps the stars in the firmament and imposes rhythm on the ocean tides. Each of us is created of it, and I suspect each of us was created for it. Love recognizes no barriers. It jumps hurdles, leaps fences, penetrates walls to arrive at its destination, full of hope. You look amazing. Oh. I love your dress. Thank you so much. You look so pretty. You look so pretty too. Thank you. Look Thank you. <laughs> Thank you handsome. Look at how the shoes. You like them? Uh, you look so dapper. I love the dress. It's so incredible. Thank you so much. Family and friends, out of affection for Lauren and Michael, we've gathered together to witness and bless the mutual vows which will unite them in here. <laughs> to this moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure to share with one another. They bring the dreams that bind them together bring that particular personality and spirit, which is uniquely their own, and out of which will grow the reality of their life together. And so let us rejoice with them as an outward symbol of an inward union of hearts, a union created by friendship, respect, and love. I make these promises to you in the presence of our dearest family and friends on the most important day of my entire life. A pledge to stand beside you with pride and love, always supporting and protecting you through good times and bad. You are my source of strength and well-being, and I vow to always be those things for you. I promise to love you through any hardships that may come our way and to be a comfort to you during times of grief. I promise to inspire and challenge you to reach your innermost desires, because when you succeed, I succeed. I can't wait to grow with you in love, becoming something greater than what we already are. I promise to always be genuine, dedicated, and thoughtful so that you will always trust and admire me. I appreciate everything you have done for me and everything you continue to do, knowing that you do these things out of love. What we have is very special, and I will cherish you for the rest of my life. I make these promises to you in the presence of our dearest family and friends on the most important day of my entire life. A pledge to stand beside you with pride and love, always supporting and protecting you through good times and bad. You are my source of strength and well-being, and I vow to always be those things for you. I promise to love you through any hardships that may come our way and to be a comfort to you during times of grief. I promise to inspire and challenge you to reach your innermost desires because when you succeed, I succeed. I can't wait to grow with you in love, becoming something greater than we already are. I promise to always be genuine, dedicated, and thoughtful so that you will always trust and admire me. I appreciate everything you have done for me and everything you continue to do, knowing that you do, th do those things out of love. <laughs> what we have is very special and I will cherish you for the rest of my life. Michael, would you please take this ring and put it on Lauren's finger and repeat after me. I choose you, Lauren. I choose you, Lauren. Above all others to be my wife. Above all others to be my wife. I offer you this ring as a token of our love. I offer you this ring as a token of our love. And with it, I join my life to yours. And with it, I join my life to yours. Lauren, would you please take your ring and put it on Michael's finger and repeat after me. I choose you, Michael, above all others. I choose you, Michael, above all others. To be my husband. To be my husband. 
I offer you this ring as a token of our love. I offer you this ring as a token of our love. And with it, I join my life to yours. And with it, I join my life to yours. Lauren and Michael, by the love that has brought you here today, by the vows you've exchanged, and by the integrity of your commitment, in the presence of your dearest family and friends, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may now kiss your bride. such a pleasure for me to see the interaction between Michael and Lauren. Very supportive, very caring, very loving every single time. So that's why I so completely support this relationship, this marriage. It's just going to be truly, truly terrific. Everyone in this room supports you and loves you. Mom and I love you and support you as well. So with this in mind, you're off to a great start. Cheers. Michael is a true friend in every sense of the word. We have been friends for over 20 years. It is a blessing to grow up with someone and to get to know them for that long. Enjoy this moment. Embrace the unknown and be patient with each other. Love yourself so you can love each other. With that, please lift up your glasses. As Maximus would say in Gladiator, strength and honor. <laughs> for making me your maid of honor. It's been truly an honor and it's been something that I really enjoyed and will cherish forever. I would also like to say thank you to myself um, <laughs> for hosting the best bachelorette party ever. <laughs> as well as the best engagement party ever. <laughs> as well as the best bridal shower ever. <laughs> Let's raise a glass to Lauren and Michael. Lauren, I am overwhelmingly happy and excited for you as you embark on your new journey with Michael. And Michael, welcome to the family. Woo! Stay as long as you need. <laughs>
what waited inside for us, and none of us knowing if we would be here tomorrow. But you didn't notice, because that day, the day the saucers came, by some strange coincidence, was the day that the graves gave up their dead, and the zombies pushed up through the soft earth, or erupted, shambling and dull-eyed, unstoppable, came towards us, the living, and we screamed and ran. But you did not notice this, because on the saucer day, which was zombie day, it was Ragnarok also. And the television screen showed us a ship built of dead man's nails, a serpent, a wolf, all bigger than the mind could hold. And the cameraman could not get far enough away. And then the gods came out. But you did not see that coming, because... On the saucer zombie battling God's day, the floodgates broke, and each of us was engulfed by genies and sprites, offering us wishes and wonders and eternities, and charm and cleverness and true, brave hearts and pots of gold, while giants fee fo fummed across the land and killer bees. But you had no idea of any of this, because that day, the saucer day, the zombie day, the, the Ragnarok and fairies day, the day the great winds came and snows and the cities turned to crystal, the day all plants died, plastics dissolved, the day computers turned, the screens telling us we would obey, the day angels drunk and muddled stumbled from the bars and all the bells of Charlotte were sounded, the day animals spoke to us in Assyrian, the Yeti day, the fluttering capes, an arrival of the Time Machine Day. You didn't notice any of this because you were sitting in your room, not doing anything, not even reading, not really, just looking at 